वेलकम बैक टू इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स इन द डिजाइन ऑफ डीप ड्राइंग और शीट मेटल ड्राइंग डाइज आर ड्राइंग रेडियाई एंड क्लियरेंस ड्राइंग रेडियाई हेयर मीन द रेडियस एट द बॉटम ऑफ द पंच और एट द टॉप ऑफ द डाई रिंग एंड क्लियरेंस मीन्स क्लियरेंस बिटवीन पंच एंड डाई so the smaller the die radius the greater the needed force to draw the shell similarly if the radius is too large the material may wrinkle so this radius needs to have an optimum value so as a rule of thumb the radius on the drawing die may be from 4 to 8 times the thickness of the material so if you have a look at this table as a guide uh, The the first column has the stock thickness, and the second column contains the values for drying radius. So if the stock thickness is one over sixty four, the four times of one over sixty four is one over sixteen. So that is uh, the radius at the top of the die ring. If the stock thickness is one over thirty two, four times of this is one over eight. So that is the radius at the top of the die rings, and you could see uh, the other values as well. So the minimum value. of the radius at the at the top of the die ring is four times the thickness of the stock and it can be increased up to eight times the thickness uh, of the stock so that is the radius for the die similarly uh, the radius at the punch is also about four times the thickness of the stock and it can be reduced from this value if required so the radius at the bottom of the shell is shaped by the punch nose radius if this radius is too small the bottom radius of the cup may tear out so as a rule of thumb this should be this radius should be four times the thickness of the stock another important factor is the clearance between punch and die so sides of punch and die are separated by a clearance c given by C is equal to one point one times the uh, the stock thickness. In other words, clearance is about ten percent greater than stock thickness. So this point will be illustrated um, once we solve a problem in uh, on the next slide. So that is a simple example that we saw previously as well in order to uh, find the diameter of the starting blank. so a plain shell has an outside diameter of 3 inches and is made from mild steel and is having a thickness of 1 over 8 inches calculate and show the dimensions of the punch and die so this is a simple example so as we have discussed already that this inner diameter will be made by the punch so that is the diameter of the punch and that will be equal to a 3 that is the outer diameter so this the diameter of the punch is equal to the inner diameter of the shell as i have indicated and this will be equal to the outer diameter that is 3 this 3 minus Two times thickness, so this thickness minus this, so that will be equal to two times thickness or a minus a point one two five minus point one two five. So this diameter of the punch will be equal to two point seven five zero inches. So this has turned out to be. Uh, 2.750. Then we have to calculate the clearance between punch and die, so that will be equal to 1.1 into t. So that is 1.1, and t is 1 over 8 or 0.125. So that will be equal to 0.1375. So point one three seven five inches. Now, what will be the diameter uh, of the uh, die ring? So we can calculate it in two ways. 
So one of the ways is to calculate it to be this diameter on the punch plus this clearance that we have calculated. So that will be equal to diameter of the punch uh, plus two times clearance. Now, please note that here we are not adding thickness to the diameter of the punch because we have already added it while using the formula for the clearance. So this will turn out to be uh, 2.750, the diameter of the punch that we just calculated plus two times uh, 0.1375. So that will turn out to be a 3.025 inches. So that is the diameter of the die ring. So this is the diameter of the punch and this is the diameter of the die. Now this could be calculated uh, in another way as well. So we can calculate the diameter of the die as the diameter of the punch plus two times thickness plus two times 10% uh, of the thickness. So that is actually mathematically the same thing. Uh, this 2C and this term are equal. So this will turn out to be 2.750 plus two times thickness. So the thickness is 0.125 and this thing is 20% of 0.125. So this also turns out to be 3.025 inches. So I repeat that uh, this thing and uh, this term that I have highlight, highlighted are uh, mathematically equal and as a result, we, uh, we, we turn out to find the, uh, that the diameter of the die to be the same in both cases, that is 3.025 inches. Uh, now the radius uh, of the, the die ring will be uh, depending upon the thickness of the blank. So that is one over eight, this one over eight. So that radius will be equal to 9 over 16. So this radius will be equal to 9 over 16 inches. And for the sake of uh, simplicity, we are also taking uh, this radius at the bottom of the shell that will be determined by the uh, radius um, at the bottom of the punch to be 9 over 16 as well. So that is the radius uh, at the bottom of the punch and this is the radius at the top of the die. So now let's uh, illustrate these calculations on this, uh, on this drawing. So this is the diameter of the punch. So that turned out to be 2.750 inches. This uh, radius at the top of the die ring just uh, on the previous slide was found to be 9 over 16 inches. So all these values are in inches. Similarly, for the sake of simplicity, we, we have taken this radius at the bottom of the punch to be equal to 9 over 16 inches as well. Similarly, the, the die the ring diameter, this diameter was found to be 3.025 inches. And the clearance between punch and die, this value uh, was found to be uh, 0.1375. So this is this much on both sides the clearance between punch and die, this turned out to be 0.1375. So I'm writing it here. 
that is 0.1375 here as well as the same value on the other side as well. So the diameter of the punch, the diameter of the uh, die ring, the radius at the bottom of the punch and radius at the top of the die ring. So these are the values that we have calculated. There are two important process parameters related to deep drawing process. So one is the force required uh, to draw the cup and the second is the blank holder force that uh, will be applied by the blank holder to hold the blank into position. So these two forces are very important to be calculated as well. So we will see that uh, in, in the following segment. And one assumption that we have been taking throughout uh, these discussions on deep drawing is that uh, there is no thinning that is taking place. So in this case too, the thickness of the starting blank is assumed to be equal to the, uh, the part that we are making and that is one over eight or, sorry, one over eight or 0.125. So that is important assumption that we are taking, that there is no thinning or negligible thinning that is taking place. Thank you very much.